One of the most challenging tasks to accomplish in DCS is air-to-air -air refueling. In this video, we will go over a comprehensive list of tips and techniques that can help you become more proficient and consistent at air-to-air -air refueling in DCS. Number one, stay relaxed and calm at all times. This tip is typically the number one tip in all DCS air-to-air -air refueling videos. The task is a mental game you're playing inside your head. Going in with a clear head and relaxed posture will put you in a position for greater success. If you're having trouble connecting or staying connected, simply stop and do something else in DCS and or take a break from the computer altogether. Continuing down the road of frustration will only lead to more frustration and possibly negative learning. Number two, practice formation flying with the tanker. If you are proficient with the mission editor, set up a tanker and your aircraft in a straight line. Alternatively, you can load up an existing refueling mission. Skip the actual refueling part. Simply practice approaching and following a tanker at a close distance for several minutes. Understand the amount of stick, rudder, and throttle movements required to make those changes on your setup. This should not only fine-tune your stick and rudder skills, but increase your confidence of flying in close proximity to another aircraft. While this exercise may seem silly, it will translate to successful air-to-air -air refueling. Number 3. Preparation and Planning Many pilots will tell you a great approach leads to a great landing. Let's apply that mindset to air-to-air -air refueling. Set up the cockpit early, for example, at least 5 miles out so you're not fiddling with switches, buttons, and MFDs just before moving into the pre-contact position. Waiting until the last minute to do so will likely lead to increased anxiety and stress, which is the last thing you need. Preparing early will leave you with plenty of time to focus on flying the airplane and getting it stable just before you take on fuel. Number four, relax your grip. This will improve your feel and control of the aircraft. If the aircraft is properly trimmed for level flight, you should be able to literally fly by your fingertips, if not completely hands off. A relaxed grip will lead to more precise movements near center and less overcorrection in an already confined environment. Number five, when you connect to the basket, move forward. Keep in mind when connecting to a basket system, it's already at its longest limit. After you make initial contact, you'll want to move forward several feet or at least one meter. This is something you will need to visualize. The refueling pod lights will also tell you when you're at an optimal distance. Number six, do not fixate on any part of the tanker. If there is one thing not to do, it is to chase or fixate on the refueling basket or any specific part of the tanker. Fixation will likely lead you to losing situational awareness and introducing pilot-induced oscillations. We need to do just the opposite and use our peripheral vision to scan the entire area. This leads to my next tip. Contact. Number seven, understand the sight picture to maintain contact. This is probably the key to it all, but is easier said than done. Every aircraft in DCS will have a preferred sight picture that will place you in that sweet spot. Use cues from your HUD and canopy to adjust your position. Part of the required sight picture is using your peripheral vision to quickly analyze the environment and adjust your inputs. And this will boil down to experience. If you find yourself all over the place, simply reduce the throttle, return the stick to neutral, back away, take a deep breath, and try again. Number eight, as you take on fuel, the aircraft weight will increase. The aircraft's handling characteristics may change as you take on thousands of pounds slash liters of fuel. The aircraft could feel more sluggish. The center of gravity will change and you may need to adjust the trim. The required thrust setting just before you disconnect will likely be a little higher than when you started. This will vary among the different aircraft modules and their level of fidelity. Number nine, 
Hardware upgrades may improve your ability to refuel successfully. Take this with a grain of salt. Yes, more expensive hardware that offers improved precision will likely lead to better aircraft handling. Even adding just an extension to your flight stick will improve precision. A VR headset will give you better depth perception, thus a better sight picture and more immersion. From my personal experience, air-to-air -air refueling in VR is much easier, but your mileage will vary. However, if you don't have the fundamentals of basic aircraft control, then the latest and greatest hardware will mean nothing. Work on the skills first, then look at upgrades later. Number 10. Practice, practice, practice. The fact is, aerial refueling is difficult. There are no shortcuts nor a magic bullet to learn it in 10 minutes. You simply need to put the time into it, just like anything else. Stop playing with the curve settings because this will only prolong your ability to develop the skills to successfully take fuel. This task requires dedication, understanding, and application. Remember, air-to-air -air refueling is a skill, and skills develop over time. And once you have the required skills to refuel, continued practice is necessary to maintain that level of proficiency. There's an old saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. Aside from all my tips, I highly recommend watching and listening to the pros that have done it firsthand, such as Gonky, Hazard Lee, and Ward Carroll. If you'd like to go up and hit the tanker with me, my Discord information is in the description below. Cheers!